Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a best of one between Hurricane as the Protoss in the bottom left and Keen as the Terran in the bottom right. So uh, this is game number 100 out of the 100 games that I wanted to do in a row. I'm going to evaluate them uh, for myself later on and um, see where I need to improve and um, maybe start up a next series. But um, I don't know yet. At least I'm going to take a look, a better look at the maps um, after this. But yeah, since I'm going on vacation first, um, yeah, we'll have to wait until after that. Because I want to have more information uh, about the maps basically and just go from there then. Uh, anyhow, going into this game, uh, we see a pylon coming up, we see a supply depot coming up, pretty standard stuff. We are going to see, uh, well, the standard gateway and um, and yeah, no wall off here. That is surprising. We do see um, wall offs in all kinds of uh, games. So as long as it's Terran, they normally wall off. Uh, the thing is, you don't wall off in this case because, well, it's Protoss. You don't really care too much about it. And you want to have the maneuverability with your army. Uh, if you think that the Protoss army is going to push in on you, if you think that uh, you are going to be the aggressor, you might as well wall off because then people cannot rush in with uh, with a few zealots or something like that. Of course, that is the advantage of the wall off. You can pretty much remove the entire thing by uh, lowering the supply depots and flying away your uh, your building if you want to. But yeah, now you have full uh, well full range here on your uh, your ramp. And you can defend it a little bit better. Of course, this is the ramp where you normally defend. Because normally you do get the chance to actually expand before the aggression comes in. And here we see the gateway completes. But uh, there are already two gateways, uh, sorry, two assimilators up. And uh, the cybernetic score will come out. But he's going to have quite a bit of gas to uh, to use by the time this, uh, this cybernetic score comes up. So... Yeah, that's not really what you want to spend on stalkers normally. So I guess he's going for sentries here. Uh, sentries, of course, mean that you need more gas. You need less minerals. And yeah, if you can get a lot out and you can split the Terran army into and that will work out really, really well if you do it right. And of course, well, these are Koreans, so we assume they do it right uh, because, well, that's what why they practice so much. Anyhow, we are going to see the reactor coming up too of these uh, nice little reapers coming out and the reapers are going to do some damage hopefully for him because otherwise he's already pretty far behind. Reapers are of course relatively expensive. They're not super expensive, 50-50, but yeah, they're more expensive. They're, they're too expensive to basically use as a scout because um, yeah, then you would just get too far behind and um, yeah, the Nexus goes down without any harassment here. And we are going to have to see whether these Reapers are going to do anything. Of course, the Mothership Corps is already out. The Mothership Corps is, uh, I think, the first unit that people um, get out nowadays. Uh, because it's such a useful thing to have. So we already have the first two Reapers out. Two more Reapers are coming up. Well, they already completed. No, that can't be right. Yeah, he, uh, he switched them out. So um, yeah, he switched out the Reapers for Marines, didn't want two more Reapers. And the Reapers are going to run into this Mothership Core straight away and take some damage. But yeah, that really shouldn't de deter them too much because, well, the Mothership Core doesn't really do a lot of damage. He has eight damage. It's um, about once a second. So you can actually take quite a bit of, uh, of shooting from that. You can, uh, you can live for quite a few seconds and here we go. Yeah, he's going to distract with Ron Reaper and hopefully run in with the other one on the other side because you can hop up here and here and then still be in the dark and then start harassing over here but the Mothership Core will not be there in time. Um, yeah, this Reaper is going to go down right here. No, oh, it's going to make it out. Oh my God, nicely done. Uh, this other Reaper is just doing some shots on uh, on this thing, but it's not going to be too much of a problem. He does get one shot off, or one kill off on uh, a probe, uh, which pretty much makes him worth it. Uh, it's not entirely worth it, of course, but 
Yeah, it's about equal. It's uh, the the second guy just didn't do anything yet. But as I said in uh, previous games, the stalkers they counter these um, these these reapers so so efficiently that even if the mothership core only keeps them at bay for a little bit, you already don't have much use out of them. So uh, in this case as well, we have one worker killed for one reaper lost, and that is just. Yeah, it's not really worth it, and of course uh, it takes a lot of, uh, well, maneuvering, a lot of uh, APM to actually get this done, and of course the damage on this uh, Nexus is completely healed already. That is the, ad the advantage of being a Protoss, you get all of these free, uh, free things. So um, yeah, no damage done there by, um, by our air unit. Yeah, the Oracle came out. Quite a bit ago, I didn't follow it, but um, well, there were missile turrets already in place, and here we go. He might actually get some damage done now. No, wow, so much damage taken. Next time he flies in like that, he is going to die. I kind of assumed he would pick off this one because he can actually reach the the ones on the side, and um, yeah, just get some free stuff, uh, free damage done there. Uh, this guy may actually, if he Attempts uh, get some damage on a probe, but not even going to get that. He may actually get out. No, 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 no. The range too good, and actually a very nice play by our Protoss player there. Protoss player really aware of his range, and that is exactly what uh, what he needed to do. Are they blinded or something? A oh, revealed. Okay, cool. <laughs> cute. That is cute. So they actually. Uh, get revealed for quite a bit of time. I don't know how long that uh, that lasts. I'm assuming it wears off eventually. And there is a big army coming in here. Uh, in uh, Starcraft Brute War, of course, that didn't wear off. You had a spell that didn't wear off. And I think that's the case here as well. It may just never wear off. And that would actually make it quite good to use on the, the SCVs because, well, the SCVs, of course, give you a full vision over the base only. But yeah, you would much rather kill them than reveal them. So there's that. Anyhow, uh, it's good against uh, the, the big units then. So the big army units. Oh, a nice wall off here. And is he going to be able to kill this though? The Nexus is doing its best to kill it. Yeah, Nexus gets both of those, uh, those Marauders. Marauders are, of course, the main threat here. And they are going to be uh, the main source of problems. Uh, there are no medevacs out yet, so Stimpak is also kind of costly. He uh, stimmed all of his marines, all of his marauders, and kind of got nothing done with it. Um, yeah, that might actually cost him a little bit in the later game, because, well, in the later stages of this early game, until he has medevacs up, this whole group is going to be uh, 10 hit points behind uh, on, well, where they should be and that is of course kind of sucky so they cancel on uh, on the command center and that means that the oracle at least did something five kills already on it i did get um, get some scvs i guess and yeah that's that's the oracle for you if you don't lose it you can actually do pretty well with it because well it does take some uh, some maneuvering but you can actually do very well with it and you can definitely get a lot of damage off with it. And of course only attacks ground units. And it is not going to do anything here. Yeah, it did take quite a bit of damage from that early uh, engage with the missile turret. But didn't really die from it. And as long as you don't die you get your shields back. And we are going to get a drop in here. And an engage over here. The drop however gets spotted. And therefore, well... That's completely blocked. Nothing happening. This uh, this uh, medevac should go down instantly here. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, he let it get away. That should have been such an easy kill. Ah, the frontal attack still comes in. And as you can see, the Nexus goes down pretty, pretty, er well, easily. And yeah, he, lo he lost a few units there, but that was definitely worth it. That is a really, really big thing. 
The drop comes in over here then, and that is because he didn't take out those uh, those medifacts, and he's going to lose this nexus as well. Is he going to be able to create... No, well, he's not going to be able to create this nexus again, but it is going to take quite a while before he gets the mining back up. This is such a huge deal. There is a new nexus up over here, which means that all of these uh, probes should go over here and just mine these minerals because otherwise it is just yeah it just takes too long and yeah all of these probes are going back to their original positions which is not good and wow yeah there you see the advantage that you get for not having uh, sh well not losing your medevac because he should have lost his medevac straight away and that would have meant this drop could have never happened because half those units would have died uh, would have been dead already and there would have just been nothing to do the oracle finally goes down uh, but he does get a reveal off and this is where it becomes useful these um oh wow he actually gets one on this as well but the reveal is really good against the stronger units because you you can't really sacrifice them for no reason and of course you can do that with uh, with the small units if you have uh, Marines that are revealed you can just suicide them in or even run them to the other side of the map It doesn't really matter But yeah, you can't really do that with Vikings or well with your bunker you can't really sell your bunker just or well, Demolish your bunker whatever it's called uh, Salvage that's what it's called. You can't really do that uh, Just because it gets revealed, but yeah full vision over that area for a pretty long time It's not as long as I thought it would be. It's definitely not permanent because it already wore off But it is still a pretty useful spell of course. It also uh, gives you uh, detection the, uh, the, the the unit in itself it, it can actually be used as the detector as well so the Oracle and it is therefore pretty useful for many situations so we have plenty of um, of stalkers out uh, here uh, should be able to hold this off pretty nicely there are of course quite a few Vikings to deal with this uh, with those colossi but the colossi are not really the threat that they're supposed to be because they don't really have enough backup here's the backup coming in by the way yeah the um, the colossi would have gotten sniped by these Vikings if you went in uh, and yeah well I didn't even see this coming another drop and uh, the drops are so so strong and yeah you can see here why this is such a problem a few marauders with marine backup just completely demolished the entire base and there's really nothing you can do about it of course this was already lost the protoss player knows it was already lost because he didn't get to mine for like uh, 30 to 40 seconds finally he did take out one of the medevacs with a very nice blink there um, yeah at least two bases are still up that's that's at least good but he already lost so so much in that um, yeah in that first exchange and as you can see he's still behind on harvesters or again behind on harvesters. I don't really know but um, yeah the income yeah he's just He's behind on minerals, that's not too much of a problem. He is however ahead in uh, in gas, which is good, which is good. Uh, resources lost then, well, the Terran did lose some more, but he also mined more, so I guess there's that. And the army tab, yeah, that's also something I wanted to see. Definitely more invested for the, for the Terran player here. And we are going to go to this fight then. And as you can see, the yeah the, the colossi go down instantly, and we should still be able to hold this off for some time at least. There's no charge upgraded, by the way. Charge is still upgrading, and that means that uh, all of these zealots are really not doing anything. So uh, yeah, lots of micro going down. The stalkers are going to have to retreat, and that means that this base is gone as well. The nexus is going to try to do something. But it is not really going to be able to stop this entire army on its own, especially not with the Medivax there. Medivax do, uh, do heal so much. And um, yeah, we are going to try to get in once again. No, the Nexus goes down. All of these uh, 
probes are going to run to their bases. A few of them will go down, but that is not really the problem. Because, um, well, he doesn't have anywhere to mine anyway, so these probes are not going to do anything. And yeah, the Terran army, just too strong, and just couldn't make it work. That's all there is to it. So very, very nicely played by our Terran player here. Uh, that drop over here with, well, where he, he went in for a drop over here and then uh, came in with the same attack uh, up here. Well, with a similar attack up here. Even though it completely failed because of the, uh, the void rate that was over here. And then he almost lost his medifacts and blah, blah, blah. He still performed uh, the same maneuver right afterwards and it still worked. And that was pretty impressive. So uh, yeah, after that, it was pretty much over already. All he needed to do was just keep the pressure on, make sure that the Protoss player could not come back. And that's exactly what he did. So very nicely played. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG.